Hello, hello everyone. The stream is starting. Yep, we're doing some path again today, Han. The PAL world's not doing as well on my channel as I would have hoped yet, so I'm going to be mixing in some PATH. Also, I want to still continue to be a PATH channel, so there's that too. <laughs> Hi, Pyro. How's everyone, how's everyone doing today? I have some truly record-breaking speeds to show you. Good, good. Yeah. Hi, Ron. Glad to have so many people here. So, I have an interesting build here for you today. I have been playing around with movement speed with help of a friend. So, this build... Oh. We're at negative... <laughs> oh, right, we're at a bit lower movement speed than I thought. So we're at negative 105% movement speed. Uh, as you can see, I cannot move. This is me trying to move. <laughs> Funny thing, though. So, Lightning Warp has an interesting effect. I'm going to try to show that off. Eight percent. Is that enough? Yeah, I think that's enough. Seven. Okay. So... Lightning Warp is based on how long it would take for you to walk to a particular location. So this is me walking. At negative 97% movement speed. Eh. <laughs> Turn this off so it's easier to see. A lag there. What's going on with that? Huh. I am like turtle. So we're gonna stop it if I can. Okay, good. So the amount of time it takes for you to use lightning warp is the amount of time it would take for you to walk to a place. So I'm gonna cast it right here. One, two. One, two, three, three seconds. I'm going to drop more from 97%, negative 97% to negative 105%. Now, watch what happens. It's next to instant. There seems to be some sort of error with movement speed. And once you are below negative 100% movement speed, or once you're below negative 99%, it counts as if you are moving basically as fast as you can. I don't really know how to explain it besides that. I'll be honest, I don't know what it's doing, but it's way faster than it should be. If I take off... Let's see, what can I take off? Uh, if I remove my purified blood and take off my gloves, I got to 55% movement speed. Goes back on. It is slower to increase my movement speed. For some reason. This com this character is still trying to go through uh, the axe and stuff, as it's just kind of a test thing. 
but it is an interesting concept because it's basically just like repeatedly casting <laughs> lightning warp unfortunately it's not a good build so dying is just very common with it But it actually does kill things, surprisingly. This is far from a good build, but it does do some stuff. Oh. I have uh, Skitterbots going. And oddly enough, I'm using the uh, Sulfur Flask to uh, regain my health. Because the Consecrated Ground... I generally don't move out of the Consecrated Ground very much when I'm doing this, because I'm just, like, constantly casting in the same spot. Just a- it's a weird concept that I've been playing with lately. With the help of a friend. No! I thought they went away as soon as you died. Why are they staying? I'm actually going to defeat the intervention encounter despite the fact that they've assassinated me four times. Oh, I think he's trying to run away. Nope. Ah. I thought they were programmed to leave as soon as they killed you, but I guess they're just programmed to leave as soon as you're out of the area. Odd enough. This build is so not good. It is so hard to stay alive with it. Pastor Orp reminds me of the bug with AI Gandhi unlocking democracy goes from peaceful nation to most aggressive. Yeah, it might genuinely be like an o a uh, overflow uh, in programming terms. So uh, the value the value is so low that it wraps around to being high, basically. Oh, I'm stuck stuck in something. I think I need more mana flasks. <laughs> One second. I do need... Uh, what do I need right now? Okay, so I do actually need to go to the refinery right now and kill things. I don't know if I can... If I'll be able to clear the refinery with this. I do have a surprising amount of uh, health for a character at this level. Ooh! Ooh, regeneration! I need that! I need that so badly! Regeneration Shrine would help so much! Cool, I'm just... I'm just good to go as long as I want now, until the Shrine runs out, basically. Very easy to get stuck on things, seeing as you can't actually walk around anything, even the smallest of amounts. Just slowly working on this thing. Is this the boss area? No. I was hoping I'd be able to get the boss area before I ran out of Regeneration Shrine. Actually, I think it's Rejuvenation, technically. Are also meaning to make the character more bulky, or they'd be a glass cannon? Uh, I honestly want to make this character able to just function at all. I don't really have any lofty goals with her. Like, really, it is just baseline any functionality. So, I don't know what she will become. I don't... I have never experimented with a character like this before because she kind of breaks all 
intentions with the game, because, like, the meta is more or less to move as fast as possible any way that you can, or at least be above minimum uh, movement speed. But here we are with a character that is literally unable to move on her own. Am I not able to leech life or mana off him? I'm supposed to be able to keep going with that. Should be fine as long as I can keep up my flask. No, I'm not. Okay. Well, let's go in again. Oh, I can't, I can't walk over to the instanced area. I have to, like, teleport over to it. Because I don't... I can't move even an inch on my own. So I did something kind of weird to make this thing able to regenerate life and mana the way that it does. Uh, I'm using a hybrid flask with enduring on it. So... You can make a uh, mana flask keep going even if you fill your mana up so that it just it keeps going till the effect is over, basically. But with hybrid flasks, since they also recover life and you can get enduring on them, you can continue to go whether you have life or mana or not. No, let's move out of there. Though for some reason it looks like if I don't have health, I can't keep going. Like, I can't activate the flask unless I am low on health, even though it also fills mana. Which is an awkward problem. Unfortunately, like, this thing has, like, extreme issues with mana. Because it was never built to be, like, a good functional build. It was honestly just a joke between me and a friend. And now I'm trying to do something with it. Which probably is a mistake, honestly. Like, this is a really stupid concept for a build. To just see what you can do after making yourself go below 100% movement speed. Or, sorry, below negative 100% movement speed. I keep saying 100%. Nope. 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 As soon as I run out of mana, I can't move, which is real dangerous. Also, I'm trying to use intensity support. Wherever it is. Intensify support. And I don't know if that's actually going to work, because... Yeah, because it you lose it when you teleport. I I when I designed it, I didn't expect that to be a thing. Also, I got a greed's embrace with uh, increased quant rarity. What is that? Max increased quant, high rolled rarity, and plus two to AOE socket gems, and max gold res. It's like almost a perfect greed's embrace. Because what the fuck else am I gonna do with this? Ah, whatever. If I die, I die. Gallum! Gallum! I need Culling Strike because I don't do enough damage. So I'll actually explain how this build kind of works. Uh, through... Just die, will you? Oh my god. Through the use of Transcendent Spirit Gems, we're able to reduce our mat our movement speed so long as we have no decks in the area. So, these. Basically, you, you gain increased movement speed per decks and reduce movement speed per unallocated decks. So, we have no allocated decks in the area. We only have strength allocated. So, this jewel reduces our movement speed by 8%. This one by 10%. This one by 10%. And this one by 12%. Uh, Transcendent Spirits are not cheap. They're like half a div at least. So it took 
quite a few divs to make this really dumb build that barely can do the campaign. But it's still funny. Also, I have Brutal Restraint going here so that I can continue to use the... I, I can have the Trader, which will give me four flask charges per empty flask slot every five seconds. So 12 extra charges every five seconds, plus the uh, any charge gain modifiers that I have. I think I have some somewhere. I don't know where. I have Pain Attunement, because I'm always on low life. Some Mana Reservation Efficiency. Life. Reduced uh, Skill Effect Duration, mainly because you want Reduced Skill Effect Duration on Lightning Warp, because that makes it function faster. We have some Energy Shield taken here, not because we want Energy Shield, but just because... We need to not take Harrier, which gives you increased movement speed. So it actually would be cheaper to go this way, but we have to go this way to avoid getting that. Unless we stay at negative 105% and then move a few things around so that we're at exactly negative 100%. But I don't know. I don't know if that works exactly right. Actually, I should check that. Check that when I get back to town. Okay. So, oh, I'm not close enough to my stash. <laughs> that happens so often. I'm like right here trying to reach my stash. I just can't reach it. <laughs> okay. I need regrets. Because this build is regrettable. Uh, okay. Take these ones. And that brings me down to negative 100%. Still can't move. Okay, so that is still functional right there. But I have... To, unfortunately, if I do it that way, then I have to keep these uh, two Warhammers here. And I actually would do better removing these and replacing them with... Well, anything else, really. I was thinking Singularity specifically, because uh, you do more damage to hindered enemies, and nearby enemies are hindered, and you're always near things, because, you know, you're standing on them. <laughs> so I'm thinking of you trying to use two Singularities, which means I have to get 10% more... Or, sorry, 10% less movement speed, somehow. So I do need to keep up that, actually. For now, I don't need to do that, but I, I do need to eventually do that means that somehow I need to reduce my movement speed even more. Potentially. I mean, I guess I can use one lasagna wisdom. I can just keep one of these and make one of them a singularity. It'll give me a little bit more damage, but not a lot. It, this No part of this build is good. Let's be clear on that. No part of this build is good. This is a very bad build. Very funny, though. Uh, do I have... If I can get one more point from somewhere, I can allocate... Oh, wait. That's Iron Grip, not Iron, iron Wills over there. Right. Okay, that's not going to work, because I have to use a few more points to get there. I think I actually have, yeah, I have a decent amount of strength. I could try going for Iron Will. But yeah, I would actually like to do damage with this build one day. Because, you know, this build is stupid, and it sounds fun to do something stupid. <laughs> I also really want to pick up Nimbleness over here, because I can get Cast Speed and Crit, which would be really good for this character. Okay, let us go back to Sin. So in town, we actually have more movement speed. Look at how fast we are in town. It's amazing. Uh, 
Oh, this is so silly. Go to the waypoint. Come on, I can get there. Come on! You can do it! Come on! Okay, actually, I'm going to go back to my hideout for a second. So, the, re the way that we have gotten the... Uh... I can't slow down any further. So the way that we've gotten the uh, speed down so far is Winds of Change here, which has a 10% reduced movement speed. Well, okay, it's technically 5 to 10%, but we picked the quote-unquote worst rolled one. Though actually, I could get a lot more max life on here, which I should grab. We have negative 20% movement speed on Greed's Embrace. Originally, we were using Queen of the Forest, which is negative 25, which is technically better, but it's very hard to get four blues and two reds on a green base. So I'm currently using Greed's Embrace. We have Lionized Paw, which reduces your movement speed by 40%. When you're on low life, which, and it also increases it by 20, so a net negative of 20%. Uh, we are using purified, petrified blood to stay on low life. We have our two, uh, I call them lasagna wisdom because I can't pronounce the, the name. Two lasagna wisdoms here, each of them a 5% reduction. And then. The rest here is just to give me some sort of buff. Lehep of all is just, just for damage and elemental resistances. Chittis' Apex for resistances and experience gain. As there is foible, because life regen and attribute re reduction, attribute requirement reduction is really important. Because this build doesn't actually have any decks, but I need it to be able to do things like be able to use dex gems and such. I don't really use much right now, but I do intend to use more for in the future. We have a profane proxy here, so we have a uh, chilling scatter bot, and we have a uh, conductivity scatter bot. I took away the shocking one because I can just shock lightning warp. And then just the basic health and resistance belt. Oh, and then, <laughs> this isn't part of the builds, but I realized this league, since Maloney's mechanism is so cheap, you can actually have an offhand uh, thing with uh, nine slots in total instead of six for either having two one-handers or one two-hander. So if you use a bow and a Maloney's mechanism, you, it's the only time you can have nine offhand slots for leveling gems in. <laughs> Which is completely and totally unneeded in every way here but it's just something that i can do so why not do it i'm not actually leveling anything there right now but i will eventually I wonder if I can do a Syndicate Laboratory. Let's see if I'm fast enough to do a Syndicate Laboratory. Oh, fuck. I don't have my rights. There, there we go. I'm going to have to kill some stuff if this stuff's all going to bother me. Also, I need XP. Pretty badly. <laughs> no! No! Don't kill me! Okay, I'm getting distracted. Oh my gosh, I can't even kill the rats in one shot from the, uh, from the plague rat boxes. That's so sad. 
Eh. I only need to... I only need to research things to survive. I just need to survive. No! Slow moving projectiles, my only weakness. Eh! No! No, they're too fast for me! No! Oh no, a mana drain ring! That's awful. I can't have my mana drained. I don't have enough mana to begin with. Oh no. No, no, let me out of there. No, not that way. Shit. No. No. They're gonna... They're gonna break the research stuff! No, I need to distract them! No! 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 Fear me! Fear me! Fear me, Iceling! Fear me! Oh my gosh, can I do it? I just- I need to kill her! I need to kill her faster! I need to kill her faster, but oh, I'm almost out of time! No! No! Oh my gosh, I did it! <laughs> there was no time left! I don't- oh, that was like 1 or 2 percent left. I was like 98 percent of the way through the timer. It was fast enough to do a basic syndicate encounter. Uh, uh oh. Can I not? Uh oh. I might have encountered my my greatest nemesis yet. I can't reach this. How do I? Why can't- wait, why can't I... Uh... Hmm... Why can't I go down there? It won't let me, it just... Oh! No. What? What did they do to their game?! Why can't I go down that way? No, not that. Why? Why is lightning warp not working? What the fuck? Is this character actually unable to do this? I think I actually need someone in the belly of the beast to teleport to. I don't think I can actually get there on my own! <laughs> okay, what am I at? Negative, okay. Okay, I'm gonna cheat this slightly. Okay, I- oh. No, not that. Okay, I have ni negative 99% movement speed. I'll have to walk my way down there. I wish this portal wasn't here. Oh no. Oh no, that's gonna take forever. I am with the portal. Okay, we can do this. I need I need the belief of everyone in chat for this. Belief is magic. Come on. Teleport. Okay. Okay, I can get down there. I can do this. I can do this. I will get down there. Man, this is such a shitty game. Like, look at base movement speed in this game. You, you, you really need, you really need to just have like five hundred percent movement speed in this game to do anything. Like, come on, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. They need to increase the movement speed of the game by 300%. Look at how bad this is. 
literally unplayable. At least this is GGG approved. <laughs> I'm almost there! I'm almost there! I had to put away a stick, but I'm almost there! Come on! Come on! No! No, no, no! No, 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 I didn't mean to do that! No! No, don't teleport me backwards! Okay, I did it! This is the exciting content we turned into sea! <laughs> okay, now we can go back to being fast again, now that I've decreased our movement speed. If it wasn't for the lack of mana, this actually wouldn't be the slowest build in the world. I hope it's this way, because if I go the wrong way, it's going to really suck. I wonder if this would have been better with a elementalist, because then you can go and get convergence. And convergence will give you like a bunch of extra AoE and stuff. Okay, let's make a portal, save my progress. If I die here, I'll be sad, because I don't want to walk the rest of the way. You know, with some actual, some like quick thinking, you actually can move like relatively quickly like this. It's surprising. Who knew the issue all along was that I had too much movement speed? I was always like, man, I'm so. Oh god, oh no, that's an acceleration shrine. I can't click that. That's dangerous. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't- I needed to go back to town. Because then I could take my portal. I don't have to walk. I wish I could use my hybrid flask, but I can't. Because my life isn't low enough. Because your life has to be down to use your hybrid flask. For some reason. Not your mana. Does it increase the negative? Do you think the acceleration shrine would, in would, would effectively decrease my movement speed? Okay, I gotta, I gotta see that. Whoa. Why am I moving so much faster than before? I need to remember that if I die, I need to respawn in town. Okay. Nope, wrong way. I need to go this way so I can... Get to the acceleration shrine. So we can accelerate even faster. Oh no. Resurrect in town. Oh yeah, I, I forgot that we're like super fast in town. I need to get, like, super intense music that's just, like... <laughs> that's just, like, super fast-paced to go with how slow my character is. I only play when I'm in town. 
because of like how much faster I am in town. Okay, come over here, away. Yeah, get away from that thing. Okay. Uh, if you, if you make a clip, you can post it in the chat. If it blocks you, I will unblock it. Okay, let's test this now. Okay, so we're at negative 104%. That just came out as asterisks. Was that you posting it or <laughs> being frustrated? <laughs> Worst comes to worst, you can post it in the Discord server, like in the general chat. That works fine as well. That's weird. Huh. Huh. Okay, yeah, just just post it in the Discord. That's it'll be in the Discord general chat, that's fine. Or Discord game or the general gaming, which whichever you feel like. I'll look at it after. Okay, let's see. So I'm at negative 104% movement speed. Let's hit the acceleration shrine. I'm at it's still at negative 104, but I'm at 50% action speed. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so this made my lightning warp faster, but I don't move. I still can't move. So acceleration trines are safe. I just need to have enough mana. That's why I'm not, I'm not moving as fast as I could. Yeah, so action speed is actually really good for me. So I need reduced movement speed, but increased action speed. Oh wait, this is the wrong way, isn't it? I think I need to go this way. Ow. Wait, why? Oh! Oh, life tap so that... Okay, now I see what you're saying. So we're spending life instead of mana. Okay. Interesting. I mean, it would really help if I had any ascendancies. There's, there's only one ascendancy on this character so far. I wonder if I could do the lab like this. I know that's not the right way. I mean, Life Tap would also give me a more damage multiplier, which would be pretty good, too. And I have some life efficiency stuff going on already because of the life reservation. So that's not reduced cost, that's reduced... That, that's just efficiency. I just need to make sure that I have enough regen, because my regen currently sucks. Nope, wrong way. By which I mean my, my life regen. My mana regen also sucks, but... Wait, what? This is the complete wrong direction. I am... I'm, I've gone literally every wrong direction so far. 
Except for that, like, one little bit at the start. Nope, not that way. I wonder if having a mana flask would actually help me. <laughs> I'm gonna try having a mana flask. I don't know, like, it's gonna affect the trader and not being able to get as many... Not as many flash charges, but... Yeah, if, I, if it had Enduring on it, it would be better, but unfortunately it doesn't. I'm going to take this out, just because it doesn't have Enduring, so it's not that useful. I'll need to try an Enduring life Mana Flask. Well, actually, no. What I need to do is to just get a ton of life regen. And then go life tap, as you suggested. So that I can cast as fast as I can... Regenerate, basically. Yes! I made it! It only took, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him, Elgaro. I'm gonna guess it's up. Ow. Probably up. Eh. Eh. Stuck on a spike. That is one problem this this build has, is it really gets stuck on things, like, really badly. Oh god, burning ground, burning ground, burning ground, not burning ground. Anything but burning ground. Maybe I should try life tap ahead of time, even though my regen isn't too good. Why... Why can't I click on it? What is going on? It's amazing how much- how many problems you get into when you can't move. Like, you'd think this game would be meant for everyone, but no, apparently people who can't move aren't allowed to play the game. For those who are underwear, I am joking. <laughs> Just to make that abundantly clear, I am joking. <laughs> I know how stupid this is. But it's funny. Oh no, and feeble. I already don't do damage. Let's see how Dodre goes, and if I'm struggling, I will try life tap just to see if that works. Oh god, I don't don't assassinate me, please. I need to do other things besides get assassinated. Ow. Oh god, why are you here now? This is a problem. This is a problem. I brought this on myself. How did I bring this on myself? No, I did not bring this on myself. Oh god, wrong thing. Stop it, Gravitius, stop it. I'm already dead! Stop it! <laughs> Why are you so mean to me? Why are you so mean? Who else is here? Verici! I expect better of you, Verici, than murdering a helpless Scion. Stop telling me I brought this on myself! No! Don't you start to now, Ron!
No! Yes, I defeated the assassins! It helps that I can just revive infinitely, or that would not have happened. That would not have happened. Okay. Okay. Should I go get life tap? Thinking. Why is everyone so mean to me? I'm gonna go back to my hideout quickly and buy a life tap. Oh, it's not bad. Lift turp. Surf turp. There you are. Hmm. Okay, inspiration is reduced mana cost. This is an, I can replace that. Theoretically, this is better. Oh, one second. So, where is it? Petrified blood is 35%. Re 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 reservation. Hmm. If I could get a 25% reservation, or a 30%, that would be better. Because technically I can unreserve a bit of my life, if I can actually, if it will actually let me unreserve a bit of my life, I can do it. If that makes sense. Okay. I was about to see a, a, like if I'd leveled it all. No, of course I've not leveled. How would I level like this? So I think that one fight tanks for my experience by like 60%. <laughs> hey, let's see how life tap goes. Oh, wrong way. I have a lot more freedom when I don't have to constantly stop. Uh, I do have less life, though, due to the whole using my life to move thing. You had to, like, expend a bit of your, vi like, vitality in your body to move? You probably wouldn't do very well as a human. Okay, maybe it's because there's three rares there, and th those aren't, like, th those aren't, like, clones. Those are three separate rares. I kill one of them. I think this is harder because I haven't set it up yet. Maybe if I'd set this up to actually be using life properly, then maybe this would be easier. I haven't really set it up for that. I'm just just swapped in a life tap. That's not that's not actually setting it up properly. At least my life tap leveling up. Damn trees getting in my way, being all tree like. Having fucking branches. Damn trees. I need to get rid of those riders. Now, some people might ask, why don't you just take out the petrified blood? Well, if I take out the petrified blood, my movement speed goes abo uh, above negative 100. And if that happens, then I have a tr then I have a problem. Because then my lightning warp slows down to like a practically infinite crawl. I can cast 50 lightning warps before the first one goes off if I do that.
You know, thank you all for actually, like, like hanging out through this really, really bad stream. Like, everyone's seen the campaign, but how many times have you seen the campaign with a character that can't move? God, this is an awful character. You know, I could take off all of the gear that's slowing me down. But conversely, I could just hit my head against this wall until the wall moves. And being that I am as stubborn as a mule, it probably is more fitting for me to just hit it over and over and over and over and over until I manage to kill this stupid rare. God damn it. <laughs> One more hit. I need one more hit. And it's enough to kill it. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. Yay, I got past it. Now I only have to kill Dodre still. Who is stronger than any rare. Now, originally, there was, like, a self-chill element to this build. It occurs to me that since action speed benefits me without increasing my movement speed, I could actually do a reverse chill, like, chill increases your, your movement speed, or not your movement speed, your action speed thing. Without increasing my movement speed. That's totally possible. The problem is I need to regenerate my life. And I don't currently have a good way of regenerating my life. Because, like, I can stand on the the consecrated ground but only for so long before i move away from it okay, i'm now standing on the ground no can't trade right now i'm doing something very important ow I'm killing it, though. Ow. Maybe I should wait till she's done doing her tantrum. No! Why must you have energy shield? Why must you have energy shield? I should have thought. If I increase my movement speed by 5%, no, sorry. If I decrease my movement speed by 5%, By 5%. Then I get to negative 110%. Take off these two weapons. And put on a... What's it called? It's not the Storm Cloud. It's the uh, Voltaxic Rift. Then I can do Chaos Damage. And then I don't need to worry about Energy Shield. Ow. Ow. This is not going very quickly. 
Maybe what I need is a vitality gem. Maybe that's the problem. Do I have a leveled vitality? I doubt it. Eh. No, I don't. If I can get to level 70, though, I do actually have some gems that I, like, level gems I can put in, and that would increase my damage. Wait. Hold on a second. I can get a leveled vitality. I just have to go over to... Act one. Because you get the three basic auras in Act one, so... Uh, something's wrong. I can't interact with the rest of my computer, actually. I just noticed that. That's a problem. Why isn't that working? It's PAL World, that's why. I keep having a bug with PAL World where I can not I can swap to Windows, but I can't actually interact with anything on the window. Okay, can I... Yes! Okay, cool. I have 92 life regen now. Or probably more than that, seeing as I have life regeneration rate. So that's probably closer to like 110, 115. It's 130, actually. Okay, that's nice. I actually could go over and allocate either Hardy or Cannibalistic Rite. So that increases damage with skills that cost life, uh, recover life on kill if you spent life recently, and reduce life cost. I would love to actually like go over there and like like path there though. That would be better. Actually, I don't. I don't need these anymore. Because I that was because of Queen of the Forest, and I'm not using Queen of the Forest right now. So if I take off these, what can I do? Can't really get any more life regen around here. I don't think. I'm just looking at the extra things that uh, Brutal Strain's giving me. So I can get Onslaught and Kill from here, but that's... I don't really need most of those stats. I can increase my armor. And my elemental resistances. Hmm... For four seconds, regenerate life equal to 1% of armor and evasion rating over one second. That's only... What is that? 2200, 220, it's 22. That's 22 life every four seconds, that's not very much. I do need something, though.
Maybe I should use Enduring Cry at some point. Like, that actually might be better for me. Oh, I should be using Molten Shell. That's part of the problem. You know, temporarily, I think the best solution... I think the best solution... I could actually grab 20% damage and 12% damage. I wanted to grab some. That's life for Coop, but that's not going to help me that much. Yeah, I mean, small life classes would be good, but I'm just very low on points right now. The, the problem is I need to level up. That, that, is, that is the big problem that I'm fighting with, is I do need to level up, and I have not leveled up, and I can't easily level up. <laughs> so right now, I'm just going to grab some extra max life, and go from there. I have increased vitality, I have extra max life now, and I have my Molten Shell. Now let's try Dodre. Hopefully my portal's still there. Yes, good. Okay. I was kind of worried that I'd wait too long. Thankfully not. I mean, I have like 500 regen now, not including when I activate my Sulfur Flask or my Hybrid Flask. Wait, no, no, it's a new portal. No! Okay, I need to make sure my fingers are on the right buttons. That helps. That was just straight up a crit. But yeah, I, like, I'm gonna need something like Surging Vitality eventually. Hmm. Is there an easy way, easier way to do what I'm doing? At best, I can get back three points. I have three points. I could get de over... There's life somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, I could get to Blood Drinker. Or I could get to Blood Siphon. Yeah, I might be able to actually give myself 5% more life, or not more life, uh, increased life, if I move some stuff around again. There is a bit of an easier way to do what I was doing. I'll do that, and I don't actually... My low life... I'm still in low life because of where my life actually is, so I'll be fine. Grab that. Now let's see what happens. There's four of you watching me right now? Why do you like this content? <laughs> this is a really dumb build. Okay, let's try this now. I 
I'm doing damage, but not very quickly or effectively. And eventually she is going to scream again, which will kill me. I just do not have enough regen to deal with her right now. Um... Maybe, maybe that's not true. I'm just like spamming my flasks as soon as they come up, basically. And that is probably the only reason why I'm alive. Plus the fact that I'm moving and she has targeted attacks. They're not, uh, they're not like auto target. So, oh no. Actually, this is great. My trader can work on... It gave me a chance to actually regenerate my blast charges a bit. If I can keep moving around her, I can probably survive to some extent. I hate that she gets her life re life back every or her regen. Ugh! I hate that she gets her energy shield back every time she kills me. I'm actually killing her. This isn't just, like, complete bullshit. Like, I'm actually killing her. How am I doing this? It doesn't make sense that this is at all working. Pure skill! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ooh, got her. Okay. Unfortunately, there is no waypoints here. So if I lose this portal, I'm in trouble. Problem is, I really need to level up. This is a, uh, oh, I didn't notice this. This is a level 64 area. I'm level 61. So this area is actually above me, which is kind of a problem. Am I seriously not close enough to my portal to use it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So the lowest I can go is a level 55 area to level. Let's get some actual XP in us. That would help. There's no level 55 areas, just... I don't really have much chaos resistance. This is probably a bad idea. I could try the conduits. Let's try the grain gate. That's 57. That'll still be giving me 100% XP. Let's kill some stuff, level up at least once, then I can get Singularity, which would be better for me. Actually, there's a shield that might be better for me, too, because there is a 5% a reduced energy, or 5% reduced movement speed shield, too. So I don't have to use... I don't have to use both of these maces exactly. There might be a way around this. Oh, 
All right. Okay. I need to hold down my left click so I can keep up my molten shell. That will keep me alive a bit better than just not doing that. So I really remember to do it. Can I do an alpha mission? I don't know if I'm strong enough to do that. Might be funny. But let's see how badly this goes. I actually am not struggling with this like I expected. Oh, now I will. No? Hmm. That actually wasn't as dangerous as I expected it to be. I'm getting a lot of gem levels, which is really important. Wait a minute. I'm still running clarity. Why am I running clarity? I don't use my mana. <laughs> Why am I doing that? Hold on. Also, I can move that over there. Okay, that'll be a bit better. I need to be able to regen enough that I can not spam my life flask. That is one of my bigger problems, because I don't have it when I'm in danger, because I'm always using it. I mean, I'm making... I'm getting XP... And I'm going to have a lot more damage next level, and I'm also gaining gem levels, which will give me more damage and survivability, and not that. No explodey, please. I don't need that. I get what it's called, and I don't want it. I'm stuck in a wall. Darn it. I just did this one. Why are you question marking me? Now you're good. Just need to keep leveling. If I can level, I will be in a much better spot. And also not just like lose all of my XP to one rare. That would be good. I mean, I did that knowingly. But I have to try to protect my XP a bit better now. For a character that can't move, I think I really need to make them tanky. <laughs> you know, because of the whole melee thing. I'm always in melee range, even though I'm a caster. So I guess a lot, like, there's no real delineation between casters and melee in this game, because there is some melee that is, like, medium range. And there are casters that are short range. Like me.
Maybe I should look into a cast one stunned, actually. I could, like, cast one stunned... Uh... I'm gonna say Frost Shield, but Frost Shield scales based on your... Energy Shield, and I have only 84 Energy Shield, so that wouldn't really go anywhere. I clear out? No, I, I just cleared out the right, left side. I need to go to the right side. Oh, I've got half a level already. 62 is not too far away. Fortunately, I'm probably going to need to walk to the Rotting Core again. Unless I go back there and refresh the portal. I probably should do anyways. Give me your XP. Nom 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 nom. Weird dog thing. You don't scare- oh god you scare me! You scare me! Why did I say you don't scare me? I lied! I lied a lot! Never mind, you don't scare me. Oh, I just made a portal. That means that it erased my other portal anyways. Sigh. Eh. 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 Okay. Never remember, does Wings of Vesteri give you passive points? Passes. I have 13 of 24. I'm missing a lot of them. <laughs> I guess that doesn't surprise me. I kind of skipped a lot of them because I wasn't actually intending to do anything with this character. But now I kind of want to make her into something. Which is probably a mistake. But it's a funny mistake. So I don't know why I'm bothering to kill any of this stuff. It can't hurt me, and I don't need to kill it. It doesn't give me anything. It's not like... I actually have the effect of phasing at all times. I realize. Because I don't move. So monsters can't get in my way, because I only teleport. So technically, I'm always phasing. Or at least I have the the effect of phasing, even if I'm not phasing. Right over here? No? Oh, right over here. There you are. Yeah, give me a passive point. Nope, wrong town. I might actually be able to get a life, like a leveled life tap here instead of just leveling one myself. It's so light up? Huh. Oh, there it is. 
Not gonna be a few percent more damage. More life. Oh. Wait a minute. I could use a Define Spanner. Or I could use a Banner. It doesn't have to be a Define Spanner per se, but... That's Accuracy Rating and Physical Damage. Here's Crit. Okay, that's probably better. Yeah, okay, this is what I need. Yeah, because now that I'm not using... Uh, now that I'm not bothering to use Clarity because I don't have mana, I have extra mana to spare. Let's go to the place before the Grain Gate, actually. Oh, wrong way. Well, I mean, this works. That little zone right before the Grain Gate. Not, not the... Not the Quay. That was before the Grain Gate. Okay, you're gonna have to go away now. Must be on the other side. Imperial Fields, there it is. This one's way more open. And open areas are much better for a character that gets stuck on everything. Oh my gosh. Apparently there's lots of XP here, too. Waiting to be collected. Yeah, this is definitely a better place to level. Oh yeah, and I should replace intensity support. I keep forgetting to do that. Because it doesn't help me in any way. Because I just teleport and immediately lose it. Oh, I'll fight. Oh yes, Delve. This that would be like this is like the worst possible Delve character. Only in closed spaces. Actually, if I swap which ring slot that the profane proxy is in, I could have my my shocking skitter bot back. And with that, I could use Elemental Focus. Heck, I could use three dragons and make my my lightning damage shock. Or not shock, uh, freeze. That might be even better. I mean, it would be a nice little uh, survivability boost, maybe. I don't know, I don't do a lot of damage is the thing. It's not like this is a 100% crit build like the Hex Blast totems. So I don't like, I wouldn't be freezing with every hit, I'd only be freezing occasionally. And mainly chilling things. It's very hard to hit things when you have this little area of effect. 
If I had more damage, I would sacrifice my concentrated effect for an increased area of effect, but I don't have enough damage for that. Okay, you're not going to die. Let me just ignore you. Pretend you're not here. I don't need to go up against bad matchups. I can literally just reset the zone after I'm done killing everything else. Wait, where's the... Oh, my point's down. Unless there's enough stuff here to kill. There we go, 62. Suddenly I'm surrounded by things to fight. Too bad my shocks don't proliferate. So I guess I would shock better with the skitter bots than I would with my stuff because I have to hit it and my range is not very good right now. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a soul eater, that's why. That's why this thing sucks. Okay. I can put the Defiance Banner... The Defiance Banner over to there. Swap that. Still at... No, why am I... Wait, what? It's like, why am I at negative 95% now? What? Why am I at negative 100%? I think I missed something, because 5% of my damage, or 5% of my reduced... My movement speed went up, and that's a problem. That's what I'm trying to say. Why did my movement speed go up? I did something, didn't I? I don't I mean, okay, obviously I did something, because if I didn't do something, nothing, this wouldn't have happened. It's that! I can't you. Okay, I can't even do that over there. Nope. I have to re undo that, because that dex, I need to rem I need to get rid of that dex so that I have, have less movement speed. I have too much movement speed right now. I'll go over here. That gives me way more or speed anyways, and it also gives me damage. Okay, I now have... Negative 105. So if I swap this over, I'm at negative 100, so I still can't move. Good. Good. Cool. Okay. That did take a lot of my life away by swapping that, but I mean, whatever. I can only I can only do so much about that. Uh hmm. There is also a shield that reduces your movement speed. Let's see. I'm just going to open path of building.
update it because it has a thing that it needs to update. And swap scenes over. And swap scenes over. There we go. Okay, I've the building. Okay, reduce movement speed. It needs to be a shield, because I know it's a shield. Line eyes are more. That would also give me some block chance. It would give me way more max life. It would reduce my area and... My area and... My area damage, but that's fine. Okay, so I need to pick up a Lionized Remorse then. Okay, swapping back over. Lionized Remorse. What does this even scale on? It has lots of... Lots of... Life... That one... Okay, so it over. Okay, so this should give me more life at least, even though it's not like not life regen or anything, it is more life. And more raw life is good. Oh right, that's why I wasn't doing this, because it's level 70. Right, 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 right. Now I remember. Oh no, did I already buy one for myself? I already bought one for myself! God damn it! I tried to art, out, art smart myself? I tried to art smart myself. In a darn work. Wait a second. Okay, I'm going to swap the Lightning Damage Support in from the Intensify, because the Intensify is actually not useful to me. Okay. That'll just have to do. Good. Could change this to give me some more area, area effect, but I already don't have much damage, so doing that would be kind of a problem. <laughs> I'll play it as is. We'll see. We'll see how much of a bonus I'm gonna be getting from my singularity, because the singularity might actually be. The difference... Oh god, not again. No! Not stairs! Why is it always stairs? Stupid stairs! Ugh. I hate turning off part of the build to just be able to do basic things. Because that's my fault for not finding a better solution, but still. No. Well, this area is still way above my level. I forgot about that whole thing. That is kind of a problem now, isn't it? I mean, I am hindering things, and I am doing more damage, but, like... It doesn't really matter... I still need to survive. Die. 
Damn it. Find the one rare I can't deal with. No. No. No, you're not killing me. No. Okay, got it. <laughs> I can do this. I have to just believe. I have to believe in myself and the heart of the cards. I am gaining gem levels, and those are going to save me eventually. Especially the uh, Defiant Spanner, which is giving me more armor and evasion. Though I still have no protection against spells, which probably is what's killing me. Actually, that's really bad, because Chevron is one of the things I need to take down, and she's purely a spellcaster. I don't really have any protection against that. I don't know if armor benef does anything against physical damage from spells or not. Or if that's just... Or that's just physical, straight physical damage reduction. Oh no, I can't use Arcane Surge now, either. I just realized that my Arcane Surge is useless. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Hang on a second. Okay, I'm now going to do more damage because I just swapped on the Shocking Skitter bot. Thing is, I do not shock very well right now. I feel like a lot more damage. It is a lot more damage. Wait, research encounter abandoned. This is, I only just found the research encounter. How did I abandon it? This game is weird sometimes. Unlike me, who is completely normal. With my normal movement speed build. It's funny, I actually met someone who was doing a, a build where they are trying to increase their movement speed to as much as possible. And they had managed to increase it over a thousand percent. And they were, like, obscenely fast. And it was funny watching their build next to mine. I don't need to do Dodre again now that I... I hope I don't need to do Dodre again now that everything reset. That would suck. A lot. Uh, not this again. Let me over. No, I think that was it. No! Let me... Let me in the door! Why do doors hate me? Doors and stairs. There we go. Oh. Okay, I've already killed Dodre. I have a feeling I have to redo Dodre. Darn it. It's not what I wanted to hear.
I keep up my health for Jan. I will die. I wonder how life recoup works with petrified blood, like if they go well together or not. Or if they have an anti-synergy. I'd feel like they would have an anti-synergy. I don't know why I think that, though. I just have a feeling. Probably looked it up at some point and found out they had an anti-synergy. And that's what I'm remembering. I'd love to know, though. So it does feel like they'd be kind of perfect together. Okay, I'd rather stay away from that. I'm really having to get used to how to avoid things in a build where I have to move only via teleporting. Damn it, which one of them is you? That one seems to take the most damage, or t least damage. I think this is the real one. Oh, I killed... I killed Metalagaro Deathless. That's pretty awesome, honestly. I'm going to try Dodre again. I feel like Dodre's not going to be as bad this time. Mostly because of, like, all the extra damage now. Maybe I'm, that's wishful thinking, but I'm going to try to survive this. I can level again, that would be really nice. I don't want to go to a different place, because if I go to a different place, then there's a portal here, and then I have to do this all over again, and I don't want to do this all over again. <laughs> Really wish there was a waypoint at the end of the Rotting Boar, and or it saved my progress on killing these three. Hey, okay, no Abyss, please. Last thing I need is a bunch of tanky rares that I can't kill. Already having enough trouble. No, no in people, please. No cursey. No cursey. No. I guess the enfeeble is the least dangerous. Okay. Okay, teleport. Need to make sure that I don't get her tantrum screams. Because if I get hit with those things, I'm probably done. Oh, I'm way stronger than before. Like, I'm not invincible. I am one bad click from death, but still.
I need to make sure I'm moving around her still, because if I stop moving around her, I'm going to get hit with more stuff. I need to make sure she misses as many shots as possible. Oh shit, I can't believe I beat her as well without dying. Beat two of them without dying now. Now for the arguably the hardest one, seeing as I have no protection against spells. My Divine Spanner increases my armor and my evasion and reduces accuracy of things nearby. None of that helps me against a spellcaster. Especially not a lightning based spellcaster. Thankfully, her minions seem to be pretty easy to take on. At least compared to all the fucking chaos damage from Alagaros. Okay. If I can level before I get to Chevron, that might that would be really nice. That would help me a lot. I don't know if there's enough stuff in here to kill before that point though. Just need to make sure to kill everything and hope. Mm, nothing over there. Avoid the tornadoes. Mm, that's what I was afraid of. Ran out of minions to kill. Can't really go anywhere else either. Okay, you need to go away now. Oh gosh. Okay, let's just hope for the best, I guess. Yeah, I was worried about that. I need to make sure to, like keep moving as much as I can because she is bad for me. No, 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 fuck. I'm doing this though, so far. I just need to keep moving so that she can't hit me. No! Die, 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 please. Thank you. I didn't actually lose much XP there, too, which is nice. Okay, well, that's going to bring me to the Depraved Trio, which is going to suck. So let's see if I can actually use up some of like the remaining minions in here to level up. Because that would help me a lot. Unless I die, that would not help me. Everyone, come over here. Maybe I should stop trying to preserve my XP and just go for it. Maybe that's the problem. That's not what I meant to do. Please tell me I have a portal. Or well, not this town. Please tell me I have a portal in Act 9 Town. I do, right? Don't make me run! Okay. Okay, I don't want to run all the way over there again. Whatever. I'm just gonna lose. 
I'm just gonna lose my XP, that's fine. Sucks, but it's fine. I will make do. Portal up here. I don't mean to be so quiet, but I am really fucking focusing right now. Ow. Doing good, though. I don't know what placing this banner does, but... This isn't the adrenaline one, that's for sure. Okay, she's almost at her third phase. There we go. I quickly ended my Sulfur Flask effect. So that I could start gaining flash charges again while I was waiting. Damn it. Wait a second for the spikes to disappear. Okay. There. Out of the way of the spikes behind her to avoid this orb. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! I didn't even lose all my XP. I only died like three times. Man, this is a great build. No, it's really not. But <laughs> at least it's fun. Oh, I'm gonna say Bannon. Uh, my uber fast town walk. I need to keep in mind, I'm only level 62 still. And this is a level 64 area. The areas I've been in. So I'm under-leveled as well as doing this still. I'll meet him back in town after this, or when I die. See if I can get some XP here. Even though I am under level for the zone, I probably still can. There's usually a fair bit in the Cathedral rooftops to kill. Fortunately, there's heralds and stuff, but that's not too bad. 
I'm actually starting to get used to the playstyle, which feels weird. I don't know, does anyone know if you... I was thinking, does anyone know if you gain... if you get progress on your cast one damage taken by the life you spend? Because I could add some extra spells to this via cast one damage taken, if that's the case. I can still add it anyways, but, like, that would make it more reliable. It's really hard to keep track of things when there's so much teleporting going on. I've never played a Flicker Strike build, and I imagine this is similar to what you experience with it. Flicker Strike's also kind of chaotic in this way. But the fact that this doesn't lock onto something probably makes it even worse than Flicker Strike. Eh. Also very hard to pick up items. <laughs> oh, you know what'd be really nice? A replica Eye of Innocence that... that uh, deals damage to you based on... Uh, Deals damage to you every time you shock something. That would be fun, because you could create some really fun Castman Damage Taken builds with that. I am on the wrong side again. If this, despite having negative 100% movement speed, this build is actually kind of fast. <laughs> Not like really fast, but relatively. And I'm going to get more cast speed, which is going to make it even faster. Oh, I need to make sure to put down a portal in case I die. This is a nice little insurance. This area is probably... E nope, it's still level 64. Okay, that's good. I'm glad this area isn't even more scary. I guess it makes sense, because, like, in Act 10, 67 is the highest you go anyways. Also, I'm happy to hit 63. That's going to be really nice for other things. I am not doing good here. There is too many things here. Yep, I kind of expected that. Oh. Okay, I'm not that far away, thankfully. You want my waypoint, though. That'd be kind of nice. Oh, wow. I've been hitting, like, my mouse buttons extra hard for some reason. Just... Because of the tenseness of this. I can feel it in my fingers. Whoa. I need to stop teleporting back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> 
you get into like these loops sometimes where you're just teleporting a long distance back and forth because of just like holding down the cast button. It's really kind of strange. Can I go up this way? I can. Of course I can go up this way. I couldn't go up the other way. Only two ways. I'm actually going to start leveling now. <laughs> Maybe I'm actually kind of in a better spot. I never considered doing, like, a full life build. Like, I'm, like, using life as my... Losing life to cast rather than mana. Waypoint! Wait, what? Oh no. No! 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 Right by the waypoint! I didn't get it! No! I have to walk all the way back from the fucking... I'm trying so hard not to scream into my mic. I'm so mad. What the fuck was that about? Okay. Okay. Okay? That happened. I... I'm so angry! <laughs> No, why? That is one of the single most frustrating things that's happened today, and I died to Dodre like 30 times. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? We are going to go on an intermission for five or so minutes. And I'm going to go scream or something. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll be back in a few. If I can... Oh, right. Okay, hold on one second. I need to go reset the stream entirely. Because of my computer locking up. So, please hold. If I can figure out how to do this. This is going to be a bit weird for a second. <laughs> 